Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today our lecture about the bad habit اليوم موضوعنا يختلف في المحاضرات الفاتة تحكينا عن ال development of occlusion واليوم راح ندخل بموضوع جديد اللي هو ال habits أو ال bad habits We need to know what you mean by habit and what is the bad habit. Habit can be defined as fixed or constant practice established by frequent repetition. That means any action or practice that is uh, that characterized by frequent repetition can be defined defined by habit. Bad habits. There are many types of bad habit. But the common types that are more related to our practice include sucking habits such as thumb sucking, finger sucking, and also lip sucking, tongue thrusting, mouth breathing, and nail biting. Bad habit have specific factors that uh, consider etiological factor for it, which is either nutritive factors or non-nutritive factors. Nutritive factors that some fetus have been reported to suck their thumbs in utero. As you can see in front of this picture for fetus, uh, ultrasound picture for fetus in utero, he put his thumb in his mouth. لذلك أول ما ينولد هو راح تكون عنده هذه ال bad habit فيعتبر nutritive factor. وال vast majority of infants continue with this bad habit during the period of six months to two years or later, sometime to four years. etiological factor for uh, bad habit sometimes the sucking behavior uh, either thumb sucking finger sucking or whatever are considered normal in infant and young children and usually are associated with their need to satisfy the air for contact and security but sometimes if these non-nutritive factors or this bad habit continue for longer period, this will be associated with some problem. We will talk about it later. There is a specific problem associated with each uh, type of uh, bad habit. So, if this bad habit continue for more than four years, a professional evaluated will be recommended. Usually, this considers as a symptoms that the child suffer from emotional starvation, and he will, or uh, some time from, uh, afraid from uh, something. So he will use the thumb or finger sucking for comfort and compensation or to get some uh, sense of security. So if this bad habit continue for more than four years, a professional evaluation will be necessary.
different types of bad habit and first of all we will talk about the sucking habit sucking habit include either digit sucking or thumb sucking or also uh, lip sucking digit, digit sucking habit continue till the sixth uh, age that mean with the uh, eruption of the primary teeth uh, so it can change the growth pattern of the jaw and cause significant misalignment of the teeth Other types of bad habit is the lip habit. This involves manipulation of the lips and perioral structures. The most common presentation is the placement of the lower lip behind the maxillary incisor. This is the most common type of lip habit that you can see. Although most lip habits don't cause dental problems, lip sucking and lip biting can maintain the existing malocclusion. tongue thrusting. Tongue thrusting means protrusion or placement of the tongue in abnormal position during swallowing. To know the abnormal position of the tongue, firstly we must know the normal position of the tongue during swallowing. During normal swallowing pattern, there is a specific step that will occur to get this process. Firstly, after placement of the food in the mouth. The interior oral seal will be obtained by closure of the upper and lower lips together. Then the teeth will be get uh, come into a light occlusal contact and the tongue will be elevated to the palate to manipulate the bolus of the food. Then momentary clenching of the tooth uh, of the uh, teeth to get uh, chewing of the food as it passes into the pharynx. As I mentioned, the first step includes the anterior oral seal, which can be obtained by closure of the lip. Sometimes this anterior oral seal cannot be obtained between the upper and lower lip due to short or flaxed lip. Causes of tongue thrust. There is a specific causes that related to tongue thrusting, which include retained infantile swallowing. That uh, if you can see it during normal suckling process, during normal uh, breastfeeding, the child try to thrust or protrude his tongue to come into uh, contact with the breast mammal to get uh, the suckling process. If this infantile swelling will be retained, so it may be a uh, result in tongue thrusting. Also, upper respiratory tract infections that associated with the blockage to the uh, upper respiratory tract. So the uh, patient to try to open his mouth to get uh, res uh, respiration, and uh, this uh, may be associated with tongue thrusting. 
some feeding practice and also other uh, oral habits may be cause for tongue thrusting or maybe due to neurological disturbance, hereditary factors or uh, due to large tongue size that cannot be accommodated by the, the jaw and the teeth so it will be protruded anteriorly or sometimes laterally. Type of bad habit include mouth breathing. Mouth breathing means that the child or the patient can breathe from his mouth instead of the nose. And there is a specific causes for this type of bad habit. If you think what the possible causes that may, uh, may make the child open his mouth and breathe from his mouth instead of the nose. You can conclude that these causes may be or mostly may be pathological causes that make obstruction to the airway such as in polyp or adenoid which make the child cannot breathe from his mouth so he will open uh, from his nose so he will open his mouth and breathe from it. The other causes may be habitual. We mentioned at the beginning of the, uh, our lecture that habit was the thing that occurred due by repetition. And this uh, may occur due to the reaction of uh, the child to a specific stimuli such as the uh, some type of cartoon that he is like uh, or uh, any movies. Uh, so he will uh, react to this stimuli by keeping their mouth open and will breathe from it instead of his nose or maybe due to other causes that will make the uh, mouth open. include nail biting nail biting from its name no need for definition it's just by biting on the nail but there is a specific uh, predisposing or contributing factor that may be related to nail biting and the major cause may be tension and conflicts either in home or in school. So psychological and social effects are powerful contributory factor for this habit. The other types of bad habit, احنا قلنا عنهم انه اغلبهم يبدون بعمر تقريبا بالبداية وقسم من عندهم ينتهي بعمر 2 إلى 3 سنوات. While nail biting is a habit rarely seen before 3 to 6 years of age. And the number of people who have nail biting will report it to increase until adolescence. So when the age increases, the number of people with this type of uh, bad habit also will be increased as a person. And regarding the uh, complications or problems that associated with nail biting, there is no evidence that nail biting causes malocclusion or dental changes. The most common signs of nail biting, as you can see in front of you, by the uh, shape of uh, fingers and also some attrition of the teeth. be defined as habitual grinding of the teeth. Mostly occur at night but sometimes occur uh, as the patient wake up or during sleep at, uh, at day. As the other type of uh, bad habit, 
There is a specific etiological factor for paroxysm which may include emotional stress or may be due to neurological abnormalities, tooth malocclusion, and in rare cases uh, as a side effect of some medication. There is a specific complications or problem. May the complications or problem that may result from any type of bad habit depend on the duration of the habit, that how long this uh, bad habit will be continue and the frequency of the habit, how many the uh, habit will be repeated during the day and also intensity of the habit. These are the main uh, factor that uh, may relate to the uh, problem which result from bad habit. To get correct diagnosis of the habit, a combination of extra and intraoral examination for each type of the habit will be required. This occurs by careful asking of the patient or his parent to get a correct diagnosis for the problem. the diagnosis of a specific types of bad habit. Firstly, the thumb finger sucking. We have extraoral and intraoral examination to get correct diagnosis of this habit. For extraoral examination, uh, firstly, we examine the thumb or uh, digit uh, that can be placed in the mouth, and you can see that it's uh, very clean compared to the other and have dish pan appearance, short fingernail, because when he plays in his mouth, this will be a prevent normal development of the fingernail, so it will be short and clean, and may be associated with a viral or fungal infection, because he plays in damp and wet oral uh, environment, so viral or fungal infection can uh, develop. Also, on the finger, you can see uh, on the uh, side of the skin, not on the nail, on the side of the skin, you can see patch of hardened skin on the back of the thumb. This due to the pressure uh, from the lower incisor. Also, extraorally, you can examine the upper lip. It will be short and hypotonic because it uh, will be uh, stretched. Uh, regarding the jaw, maxillary protruded and mandibular protruded, uh, and also nasal floor will be narrow.
oral examination. The following point can be checked. Firstly, you can see increasement in the overjet. This occurred due to protrusion of the maxillary anterior dentoalveolar segment and retrusion of the mandibular anterior dentoalveolar segment. So, protrusion of the upper, retrusion of the lower, this will be increase the overjet due to placement of the tongue between, uh, sorry, the finger between upper and lower teeth. Also, lo localized anterior open bite or incomplete overbite can be seen. This occurs due to placement of the thumb of or finger between the uh, upper and lower teeth will prevent the normal development of these teeth or uh, in the labial segment, which can result in anterior open bite. Also, unilateral posterior cross bite can be seen. This type of cross bite can occur due to uh, multi causes. Firstly, from the action of the buccal musculature during the placement of the uh, thumb or finger in the mouth, there is some stretching of the buccal musculature, and this will push the teeth uh, the, or the buccal segment to inside. So this will result in constriction of the maxilla and uh, posterior buccal crossbite. Also, due to reduced intraoral pressure due to placement of the finger, and during the placement of the finger, the intraoral uh, pressure will be reduced because the tongue will be moved down. So uh, the intraoral uh, pressure of the tongue will be prevented, and the extra oral, uh, extra oral pressure from the lips and oral musculature will uh, be increased. So uh, less intraoral pressure and more extra oral pressure will result in constriction of the maxilla and posterior crossbite can be developed. Intraoral diagnostic feature for tongue thrust include protruded upper and maybe lower anterior segment due to the positioning of the tongue between upper and lower teeth that push it and uh, more anteriorly so uh, this will result in a protrusion of the upper and lower teeth and due to its placement between the upper and lower teeth this prevent the normal development of the anterior labial segment which result in anterior open bite during normal uh, position of the tongue the tongue will attach to the palate of the maxillary arch and uh, during tongue protrusion uh, the tongue will be lowered so the intraoral pressure will be reduced and the extraoral pressure will be added or increased so constricted maxillary arch can be result a regular tongue movement also can be seen uh, at rest the tongue tip is lowered and uh, due to breathing from uh, directly from the mouth a dry mouth can be result which uh, can be associated with anterior marginal gingivitis due to dryness of the mouth and also caries can be developed.
Diagnostic features of lip sucking include during lip sucking, the uh, lower lip will be manipulated uh, behind the upper uh, incisors. So this will result in pressure on the skin below the lower lip and also this area will be always wet and damp so uh, eczematous appearance can be seen on the skin uh, due to uh, multiple or repeated infection. Also due to the pressure from the lower lip on the uh, lower labial segment because as I mentioned the lower lip, uh, lip will be manipulated behind the upper so there is a pressure from the lower lip on the lower or uh, labial segment which results in retrusion of this segment. breathing because the patient breathes uh, from his mouth so the paranasal area or the respiratory apparatus will not be used this will result in underdevelopment of the paranasal area uh, and according to the growth theories uh, the uh, part of the body uh, that not which not be used will uh, be under development also, small nostrils and constricted maxilla can be seen. We talk about constricted uh, maxilla in other uh, area, and we mentioned that this occurs due to low position of the tongue. Uh, and also, uh, some characteristic of nasal pronunciation can be considered as characteristic feature for mouth breathing subject. This will result in uh, an increase in the lower facial height which giving a characteristic of long face uh, or, uh, or what is called adenoid uh, face because as we mentioned, this occurred due to underdevelopment in the paranasal area. So it will result in increase in lower facial height. Due to uh, mouth breathing, a dry and fissured lip can be seen and also this lip will be incompetent. Habitual mouth opening result in uh, over development of the buccal segment which result in supra eruption of the posterior teeth and finally this will result in anterior open bites.
during nail biting, as you can see in front of, in this picture on the right side, the patient tried to uh, brought his teeth uh, into age to age contact anteriorly uh, to get this uh, age to age contact due to the uh, biting fire habit similar to the thumb habit. It's be characterized by anterior open bite, maxillary constriction with posterior cross bite, and also labial movement of maxillary incisors are not as pronounced. Bad habit. The main aim for management or treatment of bad habit is to seize this habit by age of 5 to 6 years. Many children will stop this bad habit gradually without any aid, especially due to the increasement of the outhouse activities or uh, school age, so the child will shy from uh, this uh, bad habit and he will stop this uh, without any help or without any aid. A small number of children can persist in their uh, teenage uh, with this habit. Bad, uh, management of bad habits. These include either gentle discouragement or appliance therapy. Dental discouragement can include psychological support and soft or uh, gentle talk to the patient by explaining, explaining to them that this habit may produce some problem or uh, complication and have some adverse effect on his teeth and bite. And this complication can be stopped or prevented if he stops this bad habit. This can be uh, used when the patient and, or the child at age 6 to 7 years because they are uh, able to understand the concept of cause and effect. And also they have the capacity for self-control and may he, uh, he may decide to stop this bad habit. Despite that, the sucking habit during the primary dentition have no adverse effect on the occlusion, but it is recommended to treat the habit in the deciduous dentition stage, because at this stage the patient is still to con uh, still continue in the in his growth. So, if this habit some if, uh, have some effect on the skeletal growth, so this effect will be continued. In addition to that, that uh, after during this age, the uh, socially this bad habit will be not accepted. On the upper, uh, other point, uh, this habit have a role in a production of medical problems or systematic problems uh, to the growing child due to the placement of uh, dirty finger or digit that can be placed in the mouth and uh, some infections 
uh, or uh, inflammations may be occurred. The other type of management include the appliance therapy. These appliances are uh, called habit breaker because it will break the habit. Firstly, we mentioned that the child can be discouraged uh, gently and if he not respond, the appliance treatment can be used to terminate the habit. These appliances that can be used to break the habit is lip pamper. This can be used to stop lip sucking or lip uh, biting habit uh, and uh, this will uh, due to the presence of labial acrylic but this will prevent the backward pressure of the uh, of the lower lip on the lower labial segment this type either may be fixed or removable Other intraoral appliance that can be used to stop the habit is oral screen uh, and this picture of the oral screen in front of you as you can see that uh, this appliance will close the uh, opening of the mouth so it's uh, with uh, some uh, holes for uh, breathing uh, and uh, as you can see that this type of uh, appliance can be used to stop most uh, or many type of bad habits such as lip sucking or biting, thumb, finger sucking, uh, nail biting, and habitual mouth breathing. The final appliance which can be used is finger reminder or bandage. From its name, it's finger reminder. So it can be used just for remembering, يعني فقط للتذكير, uh, تذكير patient. So it, it can be used as reminder to stop nail biting and top sucking habits. This appliance can be used to stop the uh, uh, habits or bad habit and also have some degree of uh, correction of the presented occlusal problem that may be a result from a uh, different type of bad habit. So uh, some problem can be uh, spontaneously resolved and some problem can uh, continue uh, which need comprehensive orthodontic treatment, especially in anterior open pies. Thank you for uh, your listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.